Hey everybody, this is Gilby Clark, and you know I'm bowling for Dio. Welcome back to another episode of the Jim on Bay Show. We're back at the bowling alley with the great Gilby Clark, and uh, <laughs> what brings you out today? Well, I like to bowl. <laughs> this is my, uh, I just had carpal tunnel surgery, oh, wow. so this is my first time bowling, so I'm excited to see how it goes. And uh, we're here for the great Dio, right? Absolutely. So. I mean, he is the greatest, you know, probably the greatest rock singer of all time, you know, so it's always good to support. I mean, it's been many years it's been going on, but I'm just happy they call every time, so. Do you, did you get to know him, or are you just a big no, fan? not at all. Actually, not at all. Did not know him at all. I, you know, I was kind of raising the punk rock stuff, you know, so I really didn't know a lot of metal, to be honest. But, I mean, I appreciate the music, obviously. Well, I grew up in a bowling family. My grandpa has 30-something, 300 games. So are you a bowler then, it sounds I, like? I was in a league for many, many years. I'm from Ohio, so, you know, we were born bowling. <laughs> well, you had the Brunswick bag, so I had to ask. Oh, my God, that's pretty cool. Yeah. What were we, were the rolling, bowling ball? I forgot we were the stone, I forgot our name of our team, but we had a team. Well, like they say, sex, drugs, and bowling, right? <laughs> I don't know if I keep that order, but it is fun. <laughs> well, a couple quick questions for you. Who was your very first concert? I always ask everyone I have oh, on. Wow. My first concert was Kiss. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was only like 11 years old, you know, but uh, yeah, Kiss. My father took me to the uh, concert in Cleveland. Nice. Yeah. Tom Morello said the same thing. Really? All right on. We have good taste. <laughs> and uh, when it comes to bands or artists that have passed or broken up, mm -hmm. uh, who is one artist or band that you'd put back together? That I would put back together? Yeah, or bring back. Bring back, uh, well, I mean, I mean, if we're gonna, I'm gonna go with people that are not alive anymore, but for me, I man, I would do anything to see the MC5 in their prime. I mean, they were such a great band. So that's, that's it for me. I'd love to see MC5 in their prime. And last question here, when it comes to like early records, maybe one that you just loved to put on when you were young, is there still one that you love putting on now that still hits you the same? Yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, to be honest, I still listen to everything I listened to when I was young and stuff. Uh, Frampton Comes Alive is a great record. As a guitar player, he, not only is he a great songwriter, great, great singer, but a great guitar player. So that, that's a record that, man, it never gets old for me. And a new Hall of Famer. And uh, Gilby, thanks for coming on. It's good to right see on. you. Cheers, man. Have fun.